channel. I am Ashley Brooke, for those of you who don't know me, and for those of you returning, welcome back. In today's video, I am showing you guys my routine to how I put a full outfit from head to toe, perfume included, together in the morning. I know you're probably thinking, why would somebody need to know that? It really helps me just stay organized, it helps me get ready faster. Not only am I gonna share with you my steps to putting a whole outfit together in the morning, I'm gonna show you two different examples, one of them starting with a basic, one of them starting with a trendy piece. So however you are getting dressed in the morning, this will help everyone because I know everyone is either wearing a basic piece or a trendy piece every single day. Let's go ahead and get started with outfit number one. First we have a basic black mock neck. For my bottoms, I'm just doing a basic pair of high-waisted dark wash blue denim. So now that we have our outfit of just basics on, it's pretty boring. First thing I'm gonna do is tuck in this shirt to accentuate the waist when you're wearing high-waisted jeans. Um, you always want to try to incorporate an outfit to where you can do at least like a front tuck or an all-over tuck. When you are piling on the layers, you wanna make sure that your bottom layer is your tightest layer because you don't want um, your bottom layer to be showing and crinkling and scrunching up through your other layers. So the first layer I'm going to add is this white button down top. I'm going to tuck it in and then I'm going to leave a little bit of my collar sticking out. That way you can see the bottom layer and we want to incorporate black into this outfit so we want to make sure to have a little bit peeping out. I have my button-down shirt layered over my mock neck I want to add some sort of lighter jacket because I do plan on wearing a coat over this because it is dead of winter so I'm going to add this jacket and I really wanted to do something printed because my outfit is so black white and denim so you want to add something printed or something embellished this is me picking out my trendier item which is a camo button-up jacket For my shoe, I do want to tie in a little bit more black because I only have this little piece of black sticking out, so you want to make sure you're balancing your blacks and your colors. So I'm going to do this booty from Zara, and it's a black patent with these really cool star details on it. I didn't want to do anything too crazy with my shoe because I am wearing two shirts and a camo print jacket. So you want to keep your shoes a little bit more chill um, just because you've got so much going on up here. For the bag, I was thinking of doing something a little bit more textured but still black. That way you've got your black balanced out, black top, black bag, black shoe. So I did this black bag from Topshop. It's got the black faux leather and then I've got my texture right here with the faux shearling. I always get fully dressed and then do a squirt of perfume just so you avoid squirting any jewelry that you have. I know a lot of my jewelry is costume jewelry so I really don't want to get the oil from the perfume on the jewelry because it will tarnish it. So I do my squirt of perfume. Before my jewelry, I'm not going to go too crazy just because I've got a lot going on. I don't want a big earring because I've got a mock neck and I've got a button down and then I've got another collar. So I'm going to keep my, my um, earrings on the minimal side so I'm just doing these black little moon shaped ones and I think these will go really nice with what I'm wearing and it'll add a pop of black up here and I'm just gonna do my ring um, I'm gonna do my black ring so that way it kind of sticks out um, you know up against all of these lighter colors so the second to last thing I'm gonna do is my lipstick if I'm in the mood for a red lipstick but my outfit is like an orange sweater then I'm like okay I have to take my red lipstick off and put more of a nude on so I always try to do my lipstick at the end just to make sure it kind of color stories um, with my outfit have started an outfit with basics and made it a complete outfit we are gonna reverse and we're gonna start with a trendy item and build an outfit on top of that and when I say trendy item I more so mean like a statement piece it doesn't have to be trendy um, it, yeah I almost just fell over it can be like a statement blazer even a cool pair of pants a really funky shoe so it's really just anything that's a statement piece that's out there that's gonna be like the key focus of your outfit with this outfit I am starting out with this pair of pants high-waisted super low crotch baggy kind of tapered at the ankle with giant button pants 
You got that? Did you write that down? Third statement piece, you know, I wouldn't do something like super crazy on top. I just want to start with this pair of pants and just add my basics to it, accessorize it, make it cool. Let's go. Well, I didn't really think this one through. So I'm standing here on YouTube in my grandma bra. All right, I've got my robe on on my pile. For um, this outfit, I'm gonna just add a basic on top of it. Obviously, you wanna start with your top next. Before my top, I chose this camel sweater from Zara. I'm gonna pair this with my pants. So same idea as the pre, are my pants crooked? Hello. You wanna do your shoe next because that is the third most important piece. You just wanna make sure to complete the outfit with the shoe. I am going to add this one from um, Alice and Olivia. It is just my basic super skinny ankle sock booty. These pants are wider at the bottom. They're not as skinny. So you don't want to do a wide shaft boot with a wide leg pant. And you want to stick to something super skin tight to show that your leg has an ending called your ankle. And of course, we want to spritz our perfume before we put any jewelry on. My bottoms are really funky and cool and trendy, but my top is still very basic. <laughs> Definitely can feel free to add a little bit more jewelry and go a little bit crazier with my jewelry. For my ring, I'm going to do just this basic, simple gold one. For my earrings, I'm gonna do these hoops from Urban Outfitters. And since I am wearing my sleeves a little bit pushed back, I added this watch from Clues. I wear this watch almost every single day. I think it's just like the perfect little accessory to any outfit. And you can't forget the necklaces. I'm adding this long one from Urban Outfitters. I'm also adding this bar necklace with my initial on it. My sisters and I all have one. We call it our sister necklace. So I do wear this all the time as well. Just like we talked about in the previous outfit, you want to make sure that you're balancing out. So I've got black on bottom camel and I want to add something black on the top of my head. So I think this is like the perfect combination right here. It just kind of balances out. Your boy hat or any sort of hat automatically adds some sort of trendy kind of in style piece to your outfit. So for my bag, I am doing this one from Anthropology, and I love wearing this bag with my camel, especially just like we talked about balancing out when you're putting your accessories on. We've got black camel, black camel, black at the bottom. Then as I'm heading out the door, I would probably put some sort of jacket over my shoulders. So I think this is perfect. It's just a little cropped full leather jacket from Zara. And obviously, ideally, you want to put it put your arms in the jacket, but for the purpose of this video and this outfit, I'm doing the drape. And lastly, you don't want to forget to add your lipstick. I don't know where I, th I think I'm going. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> day um, I pretty much follow those steps every time I'm putting on an outfit if you found this video helpful definitely like it and share it with your friends um, you know if you know somebody who has trouble getting ready in the morning or who's always late because they couldn't figure out like what to wear um, definitely share this video with them I really think it will help because it is kind of like a step-by-step -step. a lot of people go into their closets and they get so overwhelmed like me I mean I there are some mornings that I'm like um, can I just wear sweatpants today because I don't know what I'm doing. More cool content to come, so subscribe if you aren't already. I would love to have you join my little YouTube family here. Um, and don't forget to check out the Life by Her magazine. Um, there's a huge announcement coming with the magazine soon. I can't wait to share it with you guys. If you want to learn more about it, just click the link here or it's in the description box. It's just lifebyher.co slash lookbook. And it's basically my monthly magazine um, that my team and I put together every month. It has interior, beauty, like hair, skin, makeup. Um, lots of fashion, lots of outfit inspo, um, shopping links and all of that good stuff. But something cool is happening with it soon. Um, and we have an app as well. So if you join, you have an app um, to reference and, and look at it through. But yeah, I will see you guys on Sunday in my next video. Bye.